Hi again. My name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and today I'm going to be doing a what sold for last week which would be um, the week of Valentine's Day February 14th through the 17th. Sales are sales. We're just going to keep on keeping on right. Let me tell you guys I'm such a dingbat. On Wednesday's live I was all excited to tell you guys about going to my first consignment sale. It was in Asheville, North Carolina, which is an hour and a half drive for me. So I got up yesterday, got up early, got my packages done, headed out the door at 7.15, drove all the way to Asheville, got all the way to the Ag Center. It was today. It starts today, which is Friday, not Thursday. So I just decided to go to the bins. I spent about three hours there. I got some good stuff. Believe it or not, though, I, in Asheville, the outlet store, the bins, is on one side of the building. And then right next to it in the same building is the retail store. I went in the retail store, found some plush that I wanted, probably leveled off a cart, not heaping. Got up to the register, and she says, if you can cram all of that in a bag... One of those white bags that they have. Um, we sell them $4.99 a bag. So I got all of it in a bag. Um, it was a lot of littles. And that was cheaper than what I would have paid at the bins. And it's usually their nicer stuff. So I went back to the bins for a little while longer. And it was not good. But I got stuff. And then I went back over there. This time I asked for a bag. Same lady was at the register and I filled another bag up um, with just things that I at first thought I was going to have to pay, you know, two and three dollars for. But I decided to go ahead and get them. But yeah, that was my day yesterday. So today is Friday and I just, I decided not to go. I've got two coming up this next week. So those will be my first ones. But yeah. All right, a couple of other things before I get started on this. Um, a viewer, Kathy, Kathy, I so appreciate. Kathy bought me two Buy Me A Coffees. Um, I just, it just makes me happy when you guys do stuff for me. So thank you very much. Um, and Posh, <laughs> let me tell you, Posh, I keep getting suspended. Now, I've been suspended twice. I think it's because I'm a new seller and I keep doing stuff that somehow red flags my account. Um, but I think the second time, the first time, I think when I entered all my tax stuff, it just kind of, I think, I had to change my address, which is another story. And, you know, it suspended me. Then I got it back and then I think I listed like 20 some items and I think somehow, and I had picked some of my high dollar clothing items and toys so I think that set off another red flag so now I'm kind of leery about I didn't list I listed five the other day Wednesday but I didn't list any yesterday I was tired that's a long day when you have to drive over three hours to get someplace and back so um and then I'm still you know just plodding along getting my listings done now that these sales are starting to come up, the pop-up sales and hitting more estate sales and stuff on the weekend. My, my 40 a day is kind of, I'm getting shuffled. So I'm going to have to come up with a, a more reasonable, I think, number that I can actually get accomplished or even just do 40 a day on the days that I can. But then it would make me have to list a little on the weekends, which is fine. I'm always working. Do you guys, when you're full-time and this is your job, you just always seem to be working or thinking about working. And so we, if you can see, we've been really hitting it hard this week on clothes. I am way behind in listing clothes because Robert and my son process this stuff and then I list them. So I'm about a hundred some listings behind, but that's what I've been focusing on. But today I'm going to get a bunch of stuff. Um, worked on, processed from our last sourcing trip and I had an amazing find, you know, at my local Goodwill, plus I went to the bins yesterday and I still have another estate sale, estate sale haul to, to get for you guys. And I just realized 
Monday, next, not this Monday, but next Monday, we're going sourcing again to Missouri. So I got a lot of work, a lot of work. All right, I had to get my packages picked up. All right, so I hope I finished my thoughts because now I forgot what I was talking about. So let's just get to it. Quite a few sales, nothing grand as far as money-wise, but like I always say, it all adds up. And that's what I need, right? All right, first item is this Fisher-Price Little People airplane. I went to an estate sale and bought a box lot. And for some reason, this airplane got set aside and forgotten about. I had already listed all the people that came with it. And um, I think, I'm trying to think, I think that um, Ferris or merry-go-round thing there was in that lot. But I did get this listed and it sold very quickly for $17.95. This is a Carter's Just One U um, Bear Plush that did a light up. It was a clip-on toy. And I ended up selling it for $14.95. This is a Waffle Weave baby blanket. It didn't have a manufacturer's tag on it, but it was in excellent condition. You could tell that it hadn't been washed because a lot of times when they wash, then they start getting fuzz balls and everything on it. Um, but of course, these are a little bit harder to sell because, you know, you don't have a manufacturer. If those of you that have been with my channel for a while, you know, I found that baby Morgan blanket, which um, has been like my biggest sell as far as baby blankets ever but I like to pick up baby blankets I just I really don't find them very often in good enough condition but I ended up selling this blanket for best offer of $12 this was from the sourcing trip to Missouri this was a Schleich um, Smurf mushroom house there it's small they're from the 70s this one did not have the mushroom roof but I just decided to sell it as a replacement again it sold very quickly for best offer of nine dollars these are my free Harlequin romance books that we picked up at a yard sale the lady was giving them away and Robert did the comps on selling them in lots and realized that it was actually worth picking them up versus trying to sell them individually but I ended up making um, lots in the same series and this I took a best offer of $35 for it I've already sold another lot that was like a hundred dollars and I may have sold another one it, it was way over 300 books we picked up the two that she had out and then she was like if you're taking them I have another box if you want it so we ended up with three boxes of them and they were all from like 2020 and 2021 so they weren't old this is two Hershey's chocolate coffee cup mugs um, I probably picked them up at an estate sale I don't remember I would have only paid like 50 cents or a dollar for them and I was just happy to get them gone so I did sell them for um, nine dollars and 86 cents thankfully Robert packed them for me this is a Carter's I love Carter's um, Carter's Starters. It's a bug musical crib toy, the type that you pull on something and, and then it plays music. Um, this one I did sell for $8.96. If you're wondering, I have a cheat sheet here. I always say that because I'm always looking this way. I have a cheap board. These were from the online estate sale through High Bid. Sold a whole bunch of stuff already um, I'm down to just pieces and parts that I need to dig through boxes to pull out and then I think I'm gonna just bag it and take it over to my booth um, but these were two Tigger keychain plush one had some discoloration on the belly or I would have done a lot of two I mean single with a quantity of two but I just decided to put them together and again they sold very quickly eight dollars and ninety six cents this was from our I believe I think this came from the sourcing trip to St. Louis this was a vintage ideal Thumbelina doll 
Um, this one was actually a toddler doll that sat inside of a car, but of course I didn't have the car. It's pull string. I didn't have the pull string. And if you look at the body, somebody took it apart, maybe to try to get inside with the mechanisms, but all inside was re-sewn and not sewn properly, just hand stitched. Um, so I just made sure I showed all of that, stated that it looked like it had been repaired. Um, and I still ended up taking a best offer of $30 for her. So, you know, even when they have lots of issues, as long as you take good pictures and um, write it in your description, what's wrong with it, things still sell, especially the vintage stuff. This is, this came from our um, sourcing trip to St. Louis. This is Fiesta Mr. Pickle. I thought it was just cute. Just something unique and different. There were others listed. It wasn't something that was so unique that it was a one of a kind. Um, I ended up taking a best offer of $6.50, but again, very quick turnover. Somebody had mentioned that they had some pharmaceutical promotion plush that every time they tried to list it, eBay gave them the red flag and wouldn't let them list it because they were using the name of the drug. I can't remember what they said, but this is my example of that, Zithromax. It would not let me list these with the word Zithromax in it. It said that I was trying to sell prescription drugs or over-the-counter medicine or whatever. Um, so I just left the word out. Anybody looking for this is going to see that it's Zithromax. And I just put Pharma, Promo, and Zebra. And I think I have two or three lots of these. I did sell this one for best offer of $10. Because at this point, I'm just trying to get, especially a lot of this um, estate sale find stuff that I had from high bid. A lot of times there was none other listed. So I just picked a price. So if somebody shows me interest and it's reasonable, and at this point, everything is profit. I've made way more money than I spent. Um, I'm just going ahead and taking it to get it moving. This was from that same online estate sale. Subway food, fast food toys. You know, I know to watch for certain ones that are McDonald's and Hardee's and some of the Pokemon, Burger King. You know, I've sold all of that stuff before. The McDonald's food changeable toys. But Subway surprised me. I found a bag and all of that stuff that was, a lot of it was still sealed. They were all from like 99, 2000. This one was the Schoolhouse Rocks um, kids meal toys. There were these four, three of them were still in the bag um, and I sold them for $44.95. So definitely keep your eyes. I've, I've I had Blue's Clues, I've had Thomas the Train, Powerpuff Kids, um, Looney Tunes. There was a whole bunch of them in this bag and I divided them out in lots by the characters. And they've been selling relatively quickly for me. This is Fisher Price Loving Family Dream Dollhouse. Um, these were from like the 90s. It was a whole series. The colors were a little more mute like blues and greens and um, browns. This was just, this is a one piece small puppy lot and I sold it for $6.26. A lot of the dollhouse stuff, sometimes I do lots, but like for the characters and stuff, a lot of times I do sell them separate because somebody just wants that one to fill in for something that they're missing. This is that carnival style plush. A lot of these are vintage. Um, this one was by M. Jalapo. I think is how you galapo. Um, I pick that brand up on occasion, um, but you know, it's that stiff plush. Um, this one was just a tropical bird. I tend to do okay with birds. They, you know, there's a, a group of people or, you know, collectors who like to get these type, but I ended up selling the bird for $12.95. Picked this up recently. It might have been my sourcing trip. This is Baby Boom Zebra lovey but it's the floor mat type it was 24 inches long again very quick turnover sixteen dollars and sixteen cents these next two was a bundle purchase this person bought these care bearer twin sheets 
or flat sheet and these two baby crib sheets that had like this just really cute puppies and cats on it um, but the two lots they ended up paying $32 if you're new I don't do free shipping so when I say it sold for $32 they did also pay shipping this is Lego Gorilla Grodd just something I picked up I want to say the sourcing trip but again I've sourced so much this past year not quite sure my stepson RJ already had this one or because I always offer these to him first especially the minifigs um, but he said he had it already and I ended up selling it for best offer of $20.25 it's one of the larger ones and a lot of times that they have their own like collectors they like the larger um, Legos this I picked up at the 100 mile yard sale um, that my sisters and I like to go to in Withfield, Virginia. It was just a whirly whirler spinning plate. I think I bought it in a bundle, so I probably paid a dollar or less for it, and it did sell for $17.95. Just another example, I like to sell smalls um, because even though they don't get it, most of them are in my bread and butter but they're so easy look I take a picture of the front side back uh oh it ain't showing it back side and a tape measure I always include a tape measure in my pictures unless it's really old and I haven't gotten back to it because um, this makes the buyer if they look at all the pictures makes the buyer aware of the size of it plus I put in the title what size it is and I've had feedback removed because somebody said it was smaller than they expected or or just whatever because eBay can see that I had a tape measure and I had the dimensions but I ended up taking six dollars and 25 cent offer on this I think these came in a mystery blind bag this was a surprise this is from e-tone it's another vintage plush that I like to pick up I don't find it very often it's 1985 just a little cat that looked like it's crying with its you know handkerchief and I sold it for $24.26 this is baby starters lovey cute little bear it says thank heaven for little boys and I sold it for $8.96 this was from the hybrid estate sale this is a panda bear but it had a little radio flyer wagon on it so it must have been something that you could per maybe get if you purchase something it was from 1998 and I sold it for best offer of $12 this is hug fun purple rabbit I get these in all kinds of colors I have pinks and blues and purples and whites um, love the brand 13 inches and I sold him for $15.25 this is a Braun um, aromatic coffee grinder this one is from Spain I think there's the ones from Germany I think do better as far as comps um, but again I tested it it worked it did have its original instructions in box which is always positive I probably paid a dollar or two for it at an estate sale and it sold for $17.95 again this is just a vintage stuffed animal the the manufacturer was plush appeal um, six inches had the little cute checkered board you know accents on it and it sold for eight dollars and ninety six cents this is a Barney plush it did a lot of times you don't see the t-shirts that some of them came with this one did have its t-shirt from 1992 and I sold him for best offer of $11 this is, again is another hug fun rabbit we're heading up into Easter so of course I'm selling more rabbits than normal and it sold for best offer of $12 this is an FTD bear plush it's a vase hugger the hands are connected still and I sold it for $8.96 this is a my banky um white lamb lovey these come in 
various sizes. This is one of the smaller ones, I believe. And they're like, if you measure them, let me see. Yeah, it's like, let me turn that on. Hover, there it goes. It's like 28 inches, but the larger ones are like 48 inches, like from head to foot. So definitely make sure if you ever sell my Banky that you designate, you know, the dimensions of it. But I ended up selling this for $26.95. Just a very cute plush. They always have the head and then the lovey is attached to it. And then it'll have like its bum and legs coming out from it. Just very cute. This is Manhattan Kids Rabbit Plush. But again, it's another one of those matte type um, loveys. This one was still attached to its card so it was unused and I sold it for best offer of $15. I think this is probably again one of those items that I probably either sourced when I first moved here 10 years ago, 11 years ago, or I brought it with me because I've had it forever. But it's a Carter's Giraffe plush photo album holder. I guess it's the type you could put pictures in it of, you know, mom and dad. So if a child went to daycare or whatever, you know, they had this so to remind them, you know, of mom and dad and siblings and stuff like that. But I finally sold it for $7.15. And then this is an Emma Lou Rabbit plush, 17 inches. It kind of reminded me of the, um, I think they're called Pillow People it, same type, you know, just round stuffed body, kind of like a pillow, but this one was made by ECB. It wasn't by the pillow people thing. Definitely, I'll try to find a comp. I'll have to remind Robert to put some of the comps there. I'm always on the lookout. I'm pretty sure they're called pillow people, um, and I'll show you a couple examples of them, but they look very similar to this. This is probably why I grabbed this until I realized it wasn't Pillow People, but I did sell this for $24. Now these next few, I only had Facebook and Bonanza this round, these four days. Um, I have sold, I think, a few more things on Etsy. I did have my first Posh sale last weekend. I already got paid for that, which is really nice. And um, nothing on Mercari. Mercari. I'm going to be focusing on posh though. Hopefully I can keep <laughs> posting without getting suspended though. All right. Some of my sales on Facebook marketplace. This was a Popo two headed dragon. I, I remember going to an estate sale. I think that was in a warehouse and I picked this up for a couple of dollars. I ended up selling it for $11. This is Fisher Price loving family dollhouse. This is one of the child's bedroom lots sold it for $22 brass I still ain't got to the tote I've got to finish listing brass I've got a tote still to deal with I ended up selling these two um, candlestick holders for $37 Fisher Price little people I do really well on Facebook with them I sold this little girl with the I don't even know. Construction vehicle. That's an easy, easy out on figuring out what type this is. Sold it for $8. This is a Lego Duplo lot. It had the, the large green base and then some of the square people and trains and stuff. The trains tend to be popular and there are collectors that just like to get the square bodied um, figures, but I sold this for $20. And then this was Fisher Price Blaze and the Monster Machine. Again, it's one of those, I guess, harder to find secondary characters. Um, it was from 2014 and I sold it for um, $26. It was one of the diecast vehicles. And then my two Bonanza orders was actually one order, um, but she bought two things. And it was this Fisher Price Little People Gorilla and Ape set and the little safari zookeeper dude. 
and so she paid $5.95 and I think $12.95. So Bonanza's chugging along for me. Still, you know, nothing will ever compare to eBay. But also, you know, I have 8,000 some listings on there. So it's going to always be first. But I think I had a good week. It just keeps this week. I had Monday was probably the best day of the entire year. And then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday so far have been just very low sales. I'm fine with it. Um, just I'm busy. Keep plodding along. Keep listing. Um, just it is what it is. February is historically my slowest month. And I think I've done pretty, pretty good, all things considered, for the month. But again, keep working towards fourth quarter. Keep working towards, you know, whatever. Some of you sell certain things that do really well during the summer. So just keep working on that. Those of you who are selling toys like me, you know, we're working towards fourth quarter. All right, let's all get to work. I've got several more videos to make today and got to get some comps done to get other videos out. All right, bye.